Hi, and welcome to Milgat Farms. My name is Kevin, along with my beautiful wife, Emily. We're the proud owners of Virginia's only USDA certified organic maple syrup farm. Now, I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but we make maple syrup in Virginia. We got the mountains and we got the weather and even the trees and it works out really well. Today, we're not talking about maple syrup though. We're talking about springs. And right now, I've got a spring that's not producing any water. In just a moment, I'll show it to you. Right this second, I gotta get this clamp on here so we can set the hose up so we can flush this thing out. It's kinda cool how we do it. Stick around, it's gonna be kinda neat. To give a little perspective of where I am, I'm standing on a spring box. See it? Actually, it's not a spring box, it's really a tank. My house is down that way. See it? Now we don't use this spring water for the house, but if those bushes weren't there, you could see the cottage and the barn and all our animal waterers. They're down there and that's what we use it for. Right now the spring's not operating very well, so I'm gonna flush it out and see if we can get a little bit better flow. You see that? That's not good flow at all, but I think we can increase it. Now the way I'm gonna do this is I've been using this pipe down at the other spring to pull water out and water our garden. So we're gonna draw the water out of this spring or out of the tank and we're gonna push it through a hose up to, the collection, up to a collection point and hopefully flush it out. I wanna rinse this or clean this thing off a little bit. We're not gonna have to shove it in too terribly far, but a little ways. This whole process should only take about 10 minutes. It'll probably take me longer to stuff the hose in the in the uh, lines and it's gonna be to get it to get the water to flush it. Now my garden hoses here, I've got two of them, one without an end, one with both ends. Connect to the pump, run it up to the collection point up there. It's not really a collection point as much as it is a spring box. From there we're going up. I'll show you that in just a minute. So we can see there's not much coming out, but that's all going to change here in just a minute. We're at the collection box now. We're going to take that elbow, put it on here, take this elbow out, and then we're going to shove the hose up this pipe right here for about 15 to 20 feet, and then we'll see what we can get it going. Ooh, there's something down in there scurrying around. Oh, it's a salamander. <laughs> that's cool. The reason I'm doing this is so that we don't get any mud or muck down into our, our tank. We just put that on like so, and there's mud in it. Oh, that's terrible. We're gonna get some mud in there, aren't we? Okay, a little, little minimal mud. All right, so we got that. Next thing we gotta do, we start stuffing that hose in there. I'm gonna have to put the camera somewhere. All right, so that end, we don't need, we don't need that. We do need, there it is. Come here, you crazy hose end. There, there it is. Nope, that's not it. That's it right there. This particular hose does not have an end on it. If there was an end on the hose, it probably wouldn't go through the bins up, up above, because I know there's at least 145 Oh, I don't know, maybe 15 foot behind me. And then it goes upstream a little bit more. We want that hose as close to that collection point as we can get it. So that when we hit to send that water up there, most of it's, most all of it's gonna go in, in that general area. That's funny. It's getting harder. There we go. Oh, like that's gonna go in there. <laughs> oh, nope. All right. Let me go turn on the pump. I'll be right back. First thing, 
The first thing we're going to notice is there should be some muddy water coming out, and you can see it. You see my hand? That silt or debris that's gotten up into the collection point, that happens from time to time, and that's what's stopping everything up. Now, one thing we can do is put our hands over it. I really can't put my hands over it, but if I was able to put my hands over it, we can create a little pressure up in there, too. I'm probably going to spray it all over my camera. You're going to see the water go out that little muddy spot right there, but it's not going down the, the elbow right there. That's the overflow right here. In a moment, I'll let my hands go. All that muddy water coming out that's all silt so we'll go ahead and do it again in fact i'll go get a rag and we'll shove a rag in there now i don't have to do this often maybe once every year or two I'm sorry i can't look at you because i'm i'm walking over wet rocks so about once every year or two i do this last year i did it we gotta do it again this year Fresh, clean towel. Okay. So the towel is making it able to hold a little bit of pressure in there. In just a minute, the pump is gonna start to bog. When it does, I'm gonna let go, and all that water's gonna come rushing down. All right, let's see what we got. I don't hear the pump slowing down, but we'll still let it go and see what comes out. Now, the way this works is that's where the collection point drains from. This would go over to our tank, and that's the overflow. A lot of this muck, there it goes, you see it? Look how muddy that is. That is just nothing but muck. Look at that. I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Once I've done that, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna let it sit for maybe one to two hours. I'm gonna leave my hose in there too. I'm not gonna pull it out to the very end. I want to see what the flow is doing. I'll be back in a few hours. Two hours later. I'll take the hose out, and then I'll give you a good indication how much water we got coming in. Right now, it looks pretty good, though. Hey, that's funny. The, sy the system is really pretty basic. Somewhere up there is a collection point under the ground where the water was coming out. And it's a piece of PVC pipe, most likely, that's plumbed all the way down to here. And it's got a bunch of holes in the end of it. The water seeps into that, goes into this sediment tank here, or this collection box, and then it shoots down that way, which is right over there, into our tank. So let me show you what it looks like down here. Oh gosh, I'm gonna kill myself. That is considerably, considerably more water. That means this tank's gonna fill up and the overflow is gonna get filled up and our cows are gonna get watered. When I lived in the city, I took water for granted. I just turned that faucet on and it worked. No problems, right? Here on the farm, not always the case, I can tell you that for sure. About once or once a year, once every couple years, we gotta we gotta rinse this thing out. And by doing so, we get to continue, we get that continued flow, and it works really well. I know if you can hear behind me, 
there's some rain coming. I can hear it. It's like it's like a wall of water behind me. So I'm going to let you go. Thanks a lot for taking your time out of your day to watch our video. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Do consider giving us a thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you.